All right, fishy folks, happy Fry Fry Friday. Hope everyone has some good fishy plans for the weekend. Let's go through the tanks and look at the fry. Here we have the high fin lair tail sword tails, and they're not really fry, I guess they're juveniles now, but I don't know, there's 20, 30, or 100 in there. I don't know, there isn't that many. There's maybe 20 in there. Just growing up. Um, this is a colony I was just about ready to give up on, and then one of the females dropped all these fries. So this male has been skinny and jacked up like that for a couple months now. I've treated the tank a couple times. I don't know if it's a, a genetic thing. I don't know if it actually is um, internal parasites, which is kind of what I think it is. But he's, he seems to be doing fine, just getting skinny. So you can see there's another... There's another male right there, and then there's a, another male in the back, and there's a female hiding in the bush somewhere. So, uh, here are the original, um, I guess they used to be called rainbow guppies, but now, but I, I named them Pink Pastel Still Nebula. I tried to buy more from the guy I got them from, but he really wanted a lot of money for them, and he wouldn't budge if I bought more. And then I saw him at the NEC, and he said he wasn't going to be at the Bucks County um auction because i don't know some crappy excuse like his daughter's getting married i mean talk about talk about a coincidence right uh so i don't know if i'm gonna get any more i'll be on the lookout but it is what it is right here's the muck guppy tank uh i pulled out like 30 adults to bring to the show and i actually didn't even sell them at the show there's the pintail um if you can see him since he just hid behind the aquarium co-op. So I don't know if you saw him, but it's a really cool mutt. Anyway, when I got back um, on Sunday and I was putting my fish away, I noticed like about 40 fry in there. So that was nice. That's a nice surprise. Looking forward to seeing what they grow up as, um, as far as fry go. Down here we have the yellow cobras. Um, I did bring a lot of these to the show as well. I didn't sell a one. I think it was just because of the light and stuff, but... There's also fry in here. I don't know if you can see them yet. There's one in the corner. Lots of fry going on in that tank. Uh, black Moscow guppies. So they're full black. They have a nice big delta tail. You can see the males there. And you can see all the fry. It looks like there's two generations of fry. Wow, this glass is dirty. Sorry, I didn't realize how dirty it was. I'll do better on trying cleaning, I, I swear. Anyway, uh... Lots of fry in there. And dirty glass. Um, these were the American Koi Guppies that I won at auction and actually were Super Breeder Steve's. They breed true for him. They're not breeding true for me. But I kind of like what they look like. You know, that's that's two babies that were born in the tank. So, and the, the females, there's, look at how ginormous that female is. So, I'm expecting any minute we'll have fry, more fry. I'm just letting them grow up and see what they look like and then you know we'll figure it out but also you can see the bristle nose in here the albino bristle nose plecos there's one eating wood there's a couple eating some detritus i think there's five in here um just growing them out to start to breed them in here you can see there's a calico uh pleco calico ancestrous calico bristle nose there's a small one there's a big one on the wood Hopefully that big one's a male, though I don't see any bristles right now. And there's some fry in here. These are the grass guppies I got from... There's a pleco on the glass back there, too. Uh, there's a... No, these are the blue grass and red grass guppies I got from eBay. Um, I pulled out all the males, uh, except for one, and I left, obviously, a female or two in here. Um, I did sell the mail. Actually, I gave it away to a fantastic subscriber of mine. Uh, he had an issue and lost all of his stock when uh, he lost power for a couple days. And uh, he bought some black pandas at the NEC. And I decided I would gift him a trio of guppies. So it was great to meet him. And uh, great to meet fans. So, All right. Here are the lime green um cobras and the one uh what's that thing called betta 
I think hopefully on Monday it'll be warm enough next week for me to start shipping again and that'll be one of the first things I ship is that better um, but this tank really isn't set up for breeding it's kind of small and there isn't a whole lot of cover but if babies are born babies are born I'm really just quarantining everybody um, once again uh, I did quarantine the betta for a short time and then uh, I want to continue the quarantine just to make sure I know the breeder of the betta I'm not really concerned but uh, you know I quarantine all my fish before I sell them so yeah these guys are pretty cool I call them lime green because I had them next to the lemon cobras get it lime and lemon but they're just green uh, under the right light they do look like a light green but here they just like look like regular green cobras all right moving on uh black mollies some layer tails there's some fry in there they're hard to see snow white mollies except that one's got black spots and there were two fry in here and i am pretty much positive they're not their fry so i don't know what's going on i don't have very good luck breeding mollies i'm gonna which is strange because you know they breed like guppies so i'm gonna have to take a look and figure something out if I want to continue. Like I have the chocolate mollies down there, and there's like two fry every couple weeks, every couple months. I don't know. These are the um, pink panda platies. All the fry I have left that are growing up, they grow pretty slow. Um, I do feed them quite a bit, but you know, let them grow up. Then I'll find a couple of couple females and a male, and we'll separate them and, and continue breeding them. Nothing for my Epistos. Again, I haven't really paid much attention to them. The male's looking spectacular. I did buy that uh, Cichlid Stone at uh, my local fish club auction. Uh, it was cheap. I want to say it was five bucks. but And one of the females likes it, so that's good. But still no fry. Uh, Jade Head Half Black. What are these? Jade, Jade Head Half Black AOCs and i got them for the show and started breeding them and this is all i have left but you can see there's already fry in there and also zlatan the blue phantom pleco who will be traded to la galaxy in the msl i think is in here and there's another uh blue phantom pleco but ever since i put this java moss in here which sort of sinks um i haven't seen them I really have to search them. I don't want to do that. So, but there's frying here already. Nothing from my uh, high fin swords. Um, I really would like to put them in a 20 long, but I don't really have any extra 20 long. So, there you go. Same thing here. Uh, just juveniles growing up in the blood red wag tank. Also like a 20 long, but I don't really have any more 20 longs. I could get more dollar per gallon sales going on my buddy Colin has some I'm sure I could buy cheap I just don't have space for them so all right let's go down low because there's a chair here uh, black panda guppy tank there's about a hundred fry in there I think I'm pretty sure all the adults are are spoken for I have quite a few orders to go out once the weather turns I know I got fish in this week and they all survived but the water is really cold and to be honest I was surprised they survived so i don't really want to ship fish knowing it's going to be cold and we could lose them as a businessman that's just not the right thing to do for the business or for the fish if you have an order that that you want me to send you that you've paid for uh that's fine just let me know but you will take all responsibility for the weather so i'm sorry but i, I have to wait so here was the uh chocolate molly tank we were talking about um quite pregnant females but I gotta figure out what's going on I gotta I gotta get some more some more babies out of these guys again I have to probably put some effort into it that would help fry fry Friday continues we'll turn around the red dragon tank there's some fry in there you can see them they're about two weeks old uh, these guppies are fantastic them. they got the black dorsals they got the nice uh, the nice top fin they don't get too big so yeah these will be nice i'm looking forward to seeing these grow up this tank has some uh bristle nose that i'm um, quarantining and i'm not sure exactly 
if they're just regular bristle nose or calicos because they were really small so when they go a little bigger i might move them uh, it's not smart to have a brown bottom tank with plecos because you actually never ever see them um and they didn't really eat their their algae wafer anyway glass belly guppies uh i think there's some frying here if i remember from a previous there's fry there's also l129 plecos there's one right there you can see it with the glare which is false zebra uh i bought them from the auction about two bags i already sold half of another bag while i was there um, we split it actually so i didn't you know it wasn't to make money it was just to get some more and, and help out a fellow hobbyist so maybe there isn't frying here i don't know uh nothing up here fry wise to talk about but let's say hi to bruce hi bruce and here are some platies that i bought at an auction for three dollars i don't know why i didn't really have space i don't really want them um so there was four i don't know where that fourth one is but i'm pretty sure there was four maybe there was only three i don't remember it was like a while ago yeah i don't know i'll have to look uh l144 lemon pleco lemon blue eyes whatever you want to call them just getting ready to breathe tank needs to be clean i clean that tank actually way more than any other tank chunky gold medina the goldfish no fry i was thinking about getting some more goldfish for this tank and then there's the jacked up gold dust molly i have that i'm just trying to keep alive let's take a look at Leia and hand down on the bottom and the big pleco and what's in that tube huh a new fish yeah maybe we'll talk about that later maybe we won't all right guys this video is getting long but uh half german half black aocs <laughs> look he's got he's got brine shrimp in his mouth um doing well one of these males is sold just waiting on uh, shipping it yeah and then uh, red Russian lace guppies these guys are very weird one day they'll be all out here playing and cool and the other day I, I don't see them and I gotta actually search I think I killed them all but there's a pretty pregnant female so all right guys this is a strain I sort of made I don't even know what to call it but I, I like maybe metallic sunset I don't know and you can see how the body's all metallic, sunset tail. They don't really breed true. It's just kind of mutts all that look alike that I put together that I'm starting to see if I can do something with. So we'll see. Uh, cobra guppies. This tank full of cobra guppies. And then this tank full of cobra guppies. Red and greens sort of do the same thing. So they're all together. Here are the Jarwi Lazuli guppies. These are just new up on the website. Twenty dollars for a pair. They are they stay small. They have a scissor tail. They have that blue iridescence to them with the black dot. Oh, they're fantastic. They are fantastic. Now this tank looks a little low. It's cracked in the back, but I don't see ever see any water. So I gotta check it out. I'm probably gonna swap it out because I have a bunch of tens that are drilled anyway. So. I'm just not looking forward to draining it, getting all the fish out, and then trying to squeeze it out from the rack, but I think I'm going to have to, to avoid disaster. But these guys are up on the website, so take a look. <clears throat> Blue Diamond Guppies uh, sold all the males, lots of orders for them. One, because they look great, but two, because they're inexpensive for a guppy, for a fancy, you know, guppy. Uh, so I'm just waiting on some of those babies to grow up to see if I get any more males. There's a ton of pregnant females. I'm not really concerned. I know there will be more. Tanks are dirty. I know. I'm sorry. Uh, Japanese blues. These will go up on the website maybe this weekend. They're similar to the Jarui Lazulis, but they do have a lower sword tail. Some of them have an upper sword tail as well. They do stay small. Um, they have some yellow to them. They're really nice looking guppies. Great for a nano tank like that one. Half black guppies, nothing to say really about these. These are all juveniles growing up and they're half black. Tanaka maple leaf guppies are now on the website. <clears throat> these also stay small. They come from the Tanaka farm in Japan, which I'm gonna hope to visit 
if it's anywhere near Tokyo when I go in June. Lots of fry in there, lots of males, uh, colorful red males, very vibrant, very active, great little fish. Um, purple deltas. Uh, these are the ones I sold to Angelo, which I regret every minute of every day because he got the best looking one. And he has about a gajillion fry, Angelo, from uh, Angelo's Aquarium. Angelo's, I forget what his channel is called, but I'll put a link somewhere up in this general area for you to check, take a look. There's the fish that uh, we're going to talk about that I just got in the mail from a customer uh, she sent me all her babies from when she bought fish for me a while ago half black reds very nice all right in here we have the steel nebula guppies nebula steel guppies I don't really know what you want to call them um, there is some fry the tank is pretty dirty as usual just letting them grow up I got to do some maintenance this weekend I know these are American Purple Deltas. I got these from Daniel Anderson at, at Hypnotic Aquatics. Um, also trying to get the colony to explode. You can see that's what one of the males look like. So this is my male guppy tank. These are the best of the best. Lots of grass guppies in there. Uh, there's an American Koi. See, that's what they're supposed to look like. Um, one of, lots of big tails in here. Lots of testosterone. So, all right, guys, that's it for the fish room update. Fry, fry, Friday update. Um, there is something in that black tube, I'm sure. Oh, there's the tail. I'm sure if you know anything. Oh, 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 oh. He was coming out. Can you guess what it is? Let me know in your comments below what you think it is. Uh, I'm going to do the drawing for the uh, contest soon. And. And that's that. Hope everyone has a great day.